So what was the uh, what was practice like today, and what's the guys? Well, was it was it was like you know just getting back together. You know, uh, this is the first time we've seen each other since we left Lubbock the other night. So it was you know we got what what is today Monday? We got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday before we leave. We got five practices before we leave. So it was just. Congratulations, type deal. So is this just season, just more an extreme version of the continuity kind of thing, where it kind of starts clicking at the end of the season, or is this kind of a an outlier? Um, well, I'm not real sure what you mean, but it's it we're starting to play a little bit better. I mean, we finally put uh, I think three games together uh, in a row that where we played good and and. Uh, but we, it follows, I think, a, a, a not a real good effort against Odessa here at home. You know, our, la our last regular season game. So, you know, hopefully we're on a, a we've kind of figured it out a little bit. Going into it with kind of a peak. I hope. You know, I mean, we, we, we offensively, I think we we played really well the whole week, um, and um, um, you know, some different guys came in and and did and did good things. We didn't. We, as, a, as a rule, we didn't have anybody uh, that minus out. You know, we, we've had some problems this year with consistency. You know, we, we, we play, sometimes we play a lot of people, sometimes we don't play a lot of people. And, and it kind of has, a, we're, we're substituting based on, you know, are we building a lead or are we losing a lead and what have you. But it seemed like every, every move we made this week, uh, uh, this, this past weekend helped us. So hopefully we're on a roll. You know, I mean, and hopefully it's at the right time. Yeah. Well, it would be at the right time. Did you have a message for the guys kind of going into the region tournament about how important winning the, that tournament was? Yeah, I mean, it, it was like there's no guarantees that that uh, uh, our next meeting will you know, we'll be putting on uniforms where we could be sacking up the balls. You know, it's it's one or the other. So the the only guarantee that you get to play is is you have to win. You know, we. You know, I sat around and tried to do the math on the at-large stuff, and, and uh, I felt like the strength of our league would deserve, you know, two teams. This region, I mean, West Texas is, has gone up there, and, you know, as I like to say, West Texas usually has a representative on Saturday nights, or we have in the past. And so um, just based on that, I, I thought two teams should come out of our region. But you, you don't ever know, you know. I mean, uh, you know, whether, whether you can get in as a – as an at-large, you know, as an example, Southern Idaho, who we played on a, uh, uh, we played, you know, on a neutral court, we beat this year, but yet they're seated higher than we are uh, in the tournament. So you just never know how the committee's going to, you know, put things together. You know, why is Oklahoma in and Oklahoma State is at home? You know, I mean, <laughs> we're just talking about that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, the, so I mean, you, you just don't know. The, the only thing you can be confident of is if, if you win, you will get the spot. Did you push any buttons with Isaiah to uh, no to get that level? Of no, play I wish I wish I could say that that I did, and I would have pushed that button back in November. But you know, you know, he's had some games this year. Yeah. You know, I, I can uh, Midland comes to mind when we went down there, and he looked like a dominating you know player. And I I, I don't know. I I mean, it's it it's I th I think more than anything, that's been the most frustrating thing this season is we not really known what to do to get certain guys to play at their you know highest level and uh, probably when it comes right down to it it's something inside of him and you know he was he was hungry and and uh, you know guys get frustrated because of the way things happen during games and maybe he uh, handled the frustration better because I mean I mean obviously his numbers were, were a whole lot better so uh, you know if you've got a great attitude and and, and, and you're playing for the right reason, you have a, you give yourself a chance to be the best player on the floor every time. I asked you a little about them the other day. You're with Keith and Will Washington. You said you played Will yesterday or the other day, more extended minutes, because you want a guy who blew, blew past pressure. How have you kind of determined what how to play those guys over the course of the season? Well, I don't know. It's, you it's, explained what Will does well. What yeah. Keith, well, Keith is – Keith has been a little bit more steady, I think. You know, it's it's you kind of you kind of have an idea of maybe what you're going to get with Keith, and, uh, and and Will's a little more the X factor. 
and, and some foul trouble has something to do with it. I'm, I'm, I'm not very smart about figuring out 40 minutes. And so a guy gets a, he gets a second foul in the first half. For some reason, I think you can't play him anymore. You know, so, so Will came in and did that. And then I didn't think that a couple of our other guards were, were on top of their game. And so we played them a lot together. Um, Which I was going to ask you, how much have you done that this year? Not a lot. Not a lot. I mean, we, we uh, but the way the game was unfolding, and, and, uh, or at least the way I perceived it as unfolding, was that, was that Will could break a team down. He could break a defense down, you know. Now, it's, it's a high-risk play sometimes, you know. But uh, I thought the way that, that Odessa defended, that maybe it was our best bet was just to try to go full, you know, full speed ahead. With this team this season, um, the kind of performance that you're going to get when you get to Hutchinson, are you able to kind of tell how this team's trending during practice, or is it anyone's guess once no, you get on the floor? No, it's, it's been a mystery. It, 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 it really has. It, they've been difficult to, to to get a gauge. They, they really have, and. and you know, you try to figure out, you know, well, what makes a guy get excited about this and about that, and 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 it's also why we're inconsistent, and, and, and we've been inconsistent, and and it's something that that frustrates. I don't know if it frustrates them, but it sure as heck frustrates us, you know. And uh, it's why, it's why we have eight losses. In all honesty, I mean, we can make excuses about some injuries and things like that, but but it's just like. Uh, you know, I thought Will played really, really well. I, I thought Ray Doby played. I mean, he, the stat line doesn't show it, but I mean, he was valuable for us the other day. And those two guys didn't even play the game before, you know. And and those two guys missed games early in the year when when we lost. And and so uh, I, I I don't know. I, I don't I don't know what the button to push is. I I, ha, I have no idea. Um, you know, you usually think that you have a you know, a demand, I mean, a line of demand, and, and this is what you have to get to. But this is a, this is a different group, you know. It's why we're not undefeated. Um, but on the other side of the coin, it's also why we're still playing, too. So, um, Is it just kind of hoping they see what they can accomplish when they play their best basketball? Well, I hate to use the word hope because, you know, when I usually use the word hope, you know, if, if you have to hope for something, it's, you know, you hope it's not going to be as bad as you think it's going, as you know it's going to be, you know. But, but uh, I don't know. It's, you know, getting into the regional tournament. I think maybe more than anything is like, if, if you don't win, fellas, uh, you know, we're done. We're done. And and if you want to continue this season, then we got to give it our best shot. Uh, the thing that that we did better than, I think that we've done all season long is in the last two games we fell behind. 14 to 4 and 12 to, 1. 12 to 1, you know, and there wasn't any quit on the on the bench at, at, at that point. And and the fact that we've come back from, you know, I mean, having a bomb dropped on us twice uh, and we've come back, I think it will could benefit us uh, down the road. Because you're probably play something like that or you don't want to. But you no, you sure don't. Never, inevitably, somebody's going to make it. Run yeah, they make. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's and, and and the way we play, you know, we, we we play, we shoot it pretty fast, which you know is probably why we don't turn the ball over as much. You know, I mean, some some of our shots may be what you would call shooting turnovers sometimes, but uh, um, you know, I mean, it, it's it's going to go back and forth. I mean, I've been up to Hutch several times, and and uh, it. We've not gone in, and even the team that didn't lose a game uh, the, the very first night, we, we found ourselves down, I think, nine or ten at half up there. So, I mean, it's it's a different experience. Do you ever go into the hutch with kind of a mental expectation of what's going to happen there, or is it just kind of we'll see when we get there? Um, I, I don't – I mean, I you know, I expect to win it. If that's – you know, I, I, I don't – I don't know that we will, but I mean, that's, I don't think there's anybody we can't beat. Um, uh, we, we've played the number one seed already, and, you know, for 25, 30 minutes, we were there, and then we, you know, kind of melted down. But um, I'm sure we're a little better now and uh, than we were at Christmas time. But, uh, you know, I mean, I have a, 
I have a high expectation of each and every game. I, you know, I don't see why we shouldn't win. So, Coach, in 08, y'all went on to win the region. You got hot late, uh, won your first national championships. So what similarities, <laughs> if any, uh, are between those two teams, and how does that kind of correlate when you go to a tournament like this? Well, I think in, in, in 08, we, we, we had a rotation. And and you're right, we did we get we did get hot, and we had one guy in particular I remember that all of a sudden started playing like he was capable of playing, and and I think he ended up being the MVP of the tournament. And he had been, you know, he had been like the th third or fourth option on the team all year long, but he he stepped up, and I and I'll never forget a play that he made, and it was in the regional tournament that I knew right then this guy is now different. And he did. He just carried it all the way, all the way through. But uh, this year, uh, I can't point to a guy that is going to, uh, you know, is going to be the one that we rally around because it's kind of, it, 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 it's gone around. I mean, it's like tonight it's this guy, tonight it's that guy, and what have you. And and I really don't have a feel for, you know, who who or. It might be. I thought Will Washington had as much to do with us winning the region tournament as anybody, and yet I didn't even play him the night before. So, but Keith was playing really well that night, you know. And it's, uh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, one thing I've learned about when you're uh, you're in a game of desperation is at, at some point. I mean, the teams that I think win will be the team that makes an adjustment and don't, you know, the old, you know, go with the girl that took you to the dance or what have you hey if you if you see a chance to pick up somebody better <laughs> you know I'm, I think you better get off that horse and get on another one up there if not if not you know you you've kind of written out the script as to how you're going to lose so uh, you know that, that one team that was down 10 was uh Yannick and Marshall and those guys we were down 10 it happened and we had never pressed all year long we'd never been behind and so we Kind of drew up a press at halftime and changed the tempo. And I mean, went from 10 down to 10 up and, you know, and then coasted on through. Yeah. It's like you mentioned, you did get down uh, 10 to uh, McLennan, uh, 12 to 1 to Odessa. You, you called timeout and they were able to adjust. What is that? How much confidence does that give you if, if something like that happens in Hutch, these guys can, you know, make an adjustment? Well, it doesn't give me any confidence whatsoever. I mean, it, it might give the players some. You know, I don't want to be ten down. I don't want to have to, you know, to do that. But, but, you know, today, I mean, ten, 10 points is not a lot. Yeah. And and uh, uh, you know, with the shot clock and the and the, but you, I mean, you make two threes and all of a sudden, everything changes. And you're ten ahead. I, I never think that's enough. And you know, I look up at the, we we were ten up with on I guess on Odessa with about 40 seconds to go or something like that. And I thought we can still lose this dadgum thing. You know. And each possession becomes, you know, you want to run the clock out and, and things like that. So, you know, a 10 point lead is not, it's not that much anymore. And, you know, something Tubby Smith told me one time, he said that the, the, the halftime lead is the most overrated and overanalyzed uh, stat there is, you know, because the game goes for 40 minutes, but for some reason they decide to stop it at 20. But, I mean, why you would pay really close attention to that 20, you know, that score at the 20 minute mark is, is it, it doesn't matter, you know, because we, we can be one up at half and think, man, this is really great. But then you come right out to start the second half and they hit a three, now you're down two, you know, mm -hmm. so that, that, it's just an intermission is all it is, so. Okay, Jordan, just some initial thoughts uh, playing the national tournament. Uh, it's a big time, you know, considering last year I played in the national tournament. I know what it takes to get it, play on that, that final Saturday. And uh, I feel like with this group, this past week, we played our best basketball. I feel like we can play a lot more of it. When it comes to playing your best basketball at the end, is that just the continuity thing? You guys are finally getting comfortable with each other? Yeah, I think that's a, that's a big part of it. During the beginning of the year, it was really unstable, just uh, getting accustomed to how we play. And I think coming towards the end of the year, Coach Green has us coming in, just playing really good basketball. I think if we keep going, we have a really good shot of winning it. You talked all whole weekend about uh, how uh, motivated you were to get back. Uh, what was that feeling like when you when the clock ticked out and you knew you were headed back to Hutchinson? Man, it was it was an amazing feeling. I, I really just wanted to tear up and cry considering uh, my biggest plan was to come back and 
win the national championship. And a lot of doubters said that we wouldn't even win the region. And uh, I know we won that. And, and it was just a bittersweet, a bittersweet feeling that we came down to it and we ended up winning it. So, Do you think it's advantageous that you were already in kind of that one game season mindset that you had to win the region tournament going in and now you kind of keep that mindset going in the national tournament? I definitely think that helps a lot considering that one game, if we win, we keep going. If we lose, we go home. Everybody's got that mindset that they're not trying to go home. And I think everybody considers each other family on this team now. and We're really trying to take the big prize home. What's the advice you give to some of the younger guys having gone through that experience already? Uh, just embrace it. You know, it's, it's Hutch. It's, it's the biggest stage. It's the national tournament. Not many people get to see that and be a play on that stage. And me doing that last year and almost getting to the championship game and just kind of coming up a little bit short. Just we got to embrace it and just go hard every practice from here on out. How big a letdown was it last year to lose considering how strong how Last year, everything went right, it seemed like, nearly up, up to this point. You guys looked like you looked and felt like you are invincible. Uh, how, how much of a disappointment was it not to finish it out last year? Uh, I think it was a real big disappointment considering, you know, going into the region semifinal, we were 30 and 0, number one team in the country for, I think, I think it was 16 or 17 weeks straight. And then uh, we just let ourselves down, losing to Western Texas. Uh, like a bunch of people say, it's, it's hard to beat a team three times. I think they got the best of us that third time last year. And I think that really got to us going into the tournament and giving us that momentum. It took a little bit away and uh, came up short. Kind of the same thing happened for y'all in reverse Saturday with uh, hard to beat a good team three times. We yeah. Still uh, during the regular season, they got us twice. Uh, one time, I think we had a, a manageable lead at their place and we gave it up and they ended up beating us by, like, I think it was 10 or 15. And then at home, we had a chance to beat them. They were up, up two and we couldn't get a shot get up and then the region tournament we just had that chip on our shoulder and we just came out and played together and played hard. How bittersweet is it that this is your last time and then it's going to be going on elsewhere, right? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, this is a bittersweet feeling, you know, the South Plains, I really called it home and uh, knowing I was coming back to play and get another chance to win a national championship, it was, a, it was going to be a big time goal for me to make it happen. Good luck. What's, what's it been like? You said the other day Coach Green was your biggest influence. Uh, What's Shell's relationship been like? Since obviously he's very competitive and you're very competitive, and go kind of butted heads at times, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, Coach Green, he's he's been honestly the biggest influence on me this this point on in basketball, especially. Uh, he's taught me a lot of things, not only on the court but off the court. And this year, especially, he's taught me it's just more than scoring. He's got to be a, a great leader, being a good teammate, getting your teammates involved. And then I, the scoring just comes natural, and it just when he taught me that, and then we but we had actually butted heads this uh, this past year a little bit, and I served that two game suspension. I think it really changed my mindset and changed how I needed to play, and I feel like we started playing better from that point out. What did you What did you learn from during your time that you were suspended? Uh, just just the little things, you know, just cheering my teammates on having a great attitude, whether if I score zero points and we win by 20 or if I score 20 or 30 and we still win, it just doesn't matter. Just being a great teammate, having a good attitude and just having the intangibles. Uh, how would you say Keith and uh, Will Washington have kind of handled the point guard for y'all this year, uh, particularly this, this weekend where they both had uh, big contributions? I'll start with Keith. It's just from, from day one, I told him he, he has amazing potential. That's just, just doing the little things and making sure he leads our team the right way because he's a point guard and he's definitely uh, looked upon for leadership. And then uh, it started against Ranger. Keith came out explosive. He played hard with great attitude and was talking. And then with Will, just like in Odessa game, he came off the bench and gave us that spark and that energy that we needed when uh, when I couldn't get it going or when Keith was tired and he came out. And I think those two, once they get going early and get our team going and rocking, I think we're pretty – Pretty hard to stop. What's uh, Jordan's already been to the tournament? What's uh, this experience like for a new, a new guy? Oh, this is a, this is great. Like, you know, I heard about Hutch, and I've like actually like seen like what happens at Hutch, and like for me to be able to go as a freshman, it's just it's really a blessing. You know, because last year really wasn't playing basketball as much, and then for me to come out and then our team win a regional championship and go to Hutch is just just an amazing feeling.
the uh, last two games in particular are regional. Just, you're playing very good teams. There's an <coughs> up and down, real fast pass game. And you only committed, I think, like one turnover maybe Friday and one turnover Saturday. And, um, in addition to scoring, how did you feel about just your level of play? Uh, I thought it was really good. You know, uh, me and Coach Green kind of talked, and he said he wanted me to be more aggressive. And, uh, you know, me being more aggressive leads to uh, making the right plays. And uh, I felt I was being aggressive enough to make the right plays. Are you used to being aggressive? Uh, before, I was kind of shy with it, but now I'm really looking to be more aggressive. What's turned about this team to where you've won seven of the last eight? We, we finally clicked. Like, we finally came together as a team, like, really sat down and said, like, because, like, you know, Hutch, you have to make it to Hutch, like, you want to get schools. So we really came together, like, like, do y'all guys want schools? Like, we got to get schools, y'all, and we also got to win for Green. You know, he's, he's used to this, so we just want to make him happy. Uh, how would you say uh, you have kind of worked with Will, <laughs> that arrangement of, I guess both of you guys are kind of natural point guard types, it seems like, mm -hmm. kind of maybe shared the role a little bit? We, uh, me and Will, we, we talk every day. You know, we, uh, like, when I mess up, like, he lets me know and he gets on me about it. Same with him, too. Uh, it's just our bond is, like, really strong now. So it's like we click even more, like, along with the team also. We've just been clicking. It's like everything just been seeming to go right. I can't remember exactly. How much do y'all kind of substitute for each other? And how much do y'all, how much are y'all on the floor at the same time? Does uh, it seem like? We, you know, we sub, we'll sub for each other probably, like, twice in the game, but other than that, Coach would just have us like both together because he feels like we both, when we both out there, it's a guaranteed chance that the play is going to get ran, whether he runs it or I run it. So. The other day, Coach was saying that uh, he put Will in there because he wanted a guy who would, when the defenses were playing real aggressive, a guy who would drive and blow past him. He said that was the strength of his game. Oh, what yeah. would you say? That is definitely the strength of his game. Will's a very explosive point guard. You know, he, he just, he gets by you so quick. It's like, he just very explosive. Like he, he finds guys too. Like he likes to drive and kick. Like he told me, he said, bro, when we in, I'm gonna drive and kick the break. I said, all right, bet. And what, what would you say your uh, kind of strength is or what, what do you I, feel like you do best? And with this team, because we have like so many scorers, I feel like I'm really good delivering them the ball. Uh, I play my part sometimes in score, but for the most part, looking at them guys the ball because they all gonna score. Have you got any advice from the older guys who have been there, who went there last year to the Hutch, about kind of how to handle the nerves and handle the moment? Oh, yeah. Jordan, he told me, he said, when you get there, bro, there's going to be a big crowd, but just don't worry about it. Just play your game. We're going to be good. I think we're not. That's kind of what you look forward to, right? Yeah. Kind of. It's a big crowd. Hutch. What's, what's special about this time of year, uh, tournament time? Kind of? The fact that we're still playing. You know, it's a lot of teams that are not playing right now. I think just the fact that we're still out here on the court, running every day, doing what we love is really the best thing. Continuity-wise, do you feel like your, the team is finally where it needs to be, where everyone's on the same page? Yeah, we, we are finally on the same page. Like, if you if you look back and see, like, you know, we've come, we flipped out on each other a few times, but it's like we finally just gathered ourselves, talked about it, and we just move on from there. We're set now. So there's kind of like a team meeting where you oh, all yeah. sat down and kind of aired out everything and said, okay, this is this needs to change. Oh, yeah. Coach called us in the office and told us, like, right before we played Odessa, he said, you guys you guys want the season to be over? And surely we all said no. No one wants the season to be over. And we've just been playing from there. We've been playing hard. Um, what was the emotions like on post-game on the floor uh, when you're going up the ladder? <coughs> Uh, that was it was very emotional. It was, uh, I was we were all excited. It's like that was my first time ever cutting the net. So it's like and I cut it with them, like this team. It's like that just made me love them even more. It's like I, I love y'all, man. Y'all officially my brothers. So <laughs> yeah. So tell us, uh, you're from Rochester, New York. Yes, sir. What's it like for going from Rochester, New York to West Texas? It's What's a huge experience? difference. Like, cause I'm used to being cold. It's hot. It's a lot of sand. Dry. <laughs> it's real different out here, you know. Uh, hearing people talk is different. Uh, everything out here is just different. I do like it though. I love it. Don't. Uh, no. Do you get uh, home? Have you been homesick at all? Or, uh... I get homesick, but then I just call my mom and we talk. And she just tell me like, you know what you're doing. You're gonna be here soon. She just tell me she love me. How uh, How did you get from How did you get from here from there to here? Uh, <laughs> Recruiting and that sort of thing. Coach Brown, I'll never forget. It was probably like 
it's probably like two weeks right before school started. Uh, Coach Brown gave me a call. He's like, hey, Keith, uh, I heard you were looking for a school. I'm like, yeah, I am. And then I Googled. He's like, hey, well, I'm Coach Brown here at South Plains. I Googled the team, seen the amazing record, 32-2, and two, and was like, oh, yeah, I'm signed. We're here. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Man, that, you said two weeks before school started? Like, literally, like, two weeks before school started. Because Will told me the other day that he – if he 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 came to South Plains like a week before school started, he got a call. Uh, they told me like two weeks, and I said, "What? I'm be out here." Took off the next few days. So, what were your what was kind of your situation in high school or coming out of high school? Uh, it was uh, sitting home, just like taking the semester off, you know, thinking about where I was. Didn't even know where school I was going to go to, and then it was just a blessing for Browners to call me. And it's like my prayers have been answered. So, let's see, did you say you said last? Year? A moment ago, you said last year you were going to like play. Did you sit out a year? Or yeah, I took a semester off and uh, just worked. I see. Yeah. What did you do? What, what did you do? I did Medicaid uh, for my grandfather. I was uh, picking up uh, people who take them to their appointments, picking them up, taking them home. I see. Yeah, trying to do good. You know, just stay out of trouble. Yeah. So, uh, did you, during that time, did you ever fear that you wouldn't be able to play basketball? Again? Yeah, I, I really just, I was just sad. You know, I was just saying, like, man, I got to get back to the court. Like, I would pray every day, like just praying, like to get back to the court, doing match what I love. And then my prayers got answered. So, what high school did you go to? Uh, Greece Arcadia. That was what you say? Greece Arcadia. Greece Arcadia. Yeah, it's in Rochester. Yeah, in Rochester. Were you born there? Yeah, you born and raised. Whole life there. Born and raised. Just in what part? Is that kind of upstate? Yeah, upstate. Okay. Uh, right next to Buffalo, like forty miles oh, away. Oh, okay, yeah. Kind of Syracuse. It's a real cold up there. <coughs> real cold, right next to the water. <laughs> So when it's 39 degrees here today, I look at my phone, it's 39 degrees here today. It's like warm for you. Man. Yeah, it's, this is nothing. Like, <laughs> when they be like, oh, it's cold or something, like, this is what y'all call cold? Like, they don't know cold. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. They get real cold at home. Um, and you're called Kucha. Where, where's your nickname come from? Uh, you know the dog? Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, just a dog. Rough. <laughs> uh, I just, my mom called me. She's like, you just a dog. I said, you, you. you know what? I like that. Whatever since. So it came from your mother. Man. Yeah. When you were how old? I was about 15. So he just a dog. I'm like, a oh, rough. <laughs> yeah, I'm wrong with it. You're a dog based on how you play or based on? The attitude and how I play. <laughs> High school, I was real nasty. Just like, oh. You say what? High school, I was real nasty, like, dunking wise. Used to dunk a lot. I seen kind of a little bit of it Saturday against Ranger. Oh, that's right, man. Yeah. yeah, you can find those videos on YouTube, Dom. Yeah. 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 YouTube yeah. sensation. Well, you tell them, Jay, you know. <laughs> What's your height and weight? I am 6'2", and I weigh 175. So you said you were, uh, so you didn't really have much interest recruiting-wise then? Mm, not that many schools. Mm, there was uh, a few JUCOs, but they were uh, kind of by home, and those aren't the best JUCOs. You know, uh, Texas has by far the best JUCO league ever, so, you know, just being able to play in it, it's just really an honor and a blessing. Yeah. So. How much does that fuel you? No one, you know, under recruited coming out of high school. What is that? What is, how does that sink in before each game? You know, I never really, until like the last few games, I never really thought of that. But like now, it's like, okay, you know, everyone doubted you. So it's showing why you're here. That's kind of been the mindset. Is that kind of the mindset for the team as well? Mm -hmm. Definitely is. Now it is. You ever had your vertical measure? Yeah. We were talking about your mountain. I have Did you get up there? I, I'm telling you, I pull out some old clips. <laughs> you, you can pull out a ball and show us, uh, show us uh, your skills. <laughs> Y'all go and see when we get done.